With the Rally version of the Multistrada V4, Ducati is targeting the long-distance traveler. We find out at the Bosnia Rally whether it is also suitable for off-road riding. The Bosnia Rally, an exciting off-road adventure through the raw off-road terrain of Bosnia, a harmonious interplay of camaraderie and serious training spirit. For the Bosnia Rally, you should love a challenge, master the art of navigation, and have a passion for off-road driving. Whether you prefer a sporty sport enduro or a powerful adventure bike, there is something for every type of rider. However, our 1000 PS team wanted to take the challenge to the extreme, which is why we took the impressive V4 Rally with us. This high-end adventure bike should show just how much enduro bike potential it has. Bosnia provides the ideal backdrop for this extraordinary experiment. Our journey begins in Kupres, from where the rally will take us through five challenging stages through the country's most breathtaking landscapes. Participants can expect a realistic rally experience, from the technical scrutineering to the checkpoints. Everything just like in real motorsport, but without timing or scoring the stages. It's all about accurate navigation and mastering challenging off-road tracks, the perfect preparation for future off-road challenges. Only road legal bikes are allowed, as one or two kilometers are also covered on public roads. The focus is clearly on off-road terrain, often challenging and demanding, which is why experience on unpaved roads is required. Off-road driving is the main focus. Gravel and rough terrain are our playing field. With a roadbook or navigation device, we explore the wild mountains of Bosnia, immerse ourselves in culinary delights, and let ourselves be enchanted by fascinating impressions provided our stately bike can cope with the demanding stages. The stylish brushed aluminum tank looks great, as do all the other elegantly painted or coated surfaces. Fairing, engine, frame. The Multistrada V4 Rally looks almost too good to be beaten off-road at the Bosnia Rally. No reason for us not to do it anyway. After all, Ducati has fitted massive crash bars for protection, which prevent worse things from happening in the event of pre-programmed crashes. And this multi doesn't just pretend to be a motorhome, but is clearly committed to off-road ambitions. This can be seen in small details such as the foot brake lever, which can be turned by hand and thus adjusted for standing stages, or the rubber buffers that can be removed from the foot wrists. But before we tackle the first stage, we make a few more changes. We turn up the handlebars, which are low and cranked far towards the rider, so that there is a better relationship to the front wheel when stationary and adjust the position of the hand levers and handlebar switches accordingly. Then we fit off-road compatible Continental TKC 80 tires and off we go. With these small adjustments, the Multistrada V4 Rally already lives up to its announced off-road ambitions in terms of ergonomics. Upright but active stance, grippy contact points for the knees, and a good overview. Good prerequisites for controlling the Italian which weighs over 260 kilograms with accessories on loose surfaces. The fact that the multi is very well balanced also helps. On initial gravel tracks, the bike is very calm and unwaveringly stable. The wheel dimensions chosen for the road off-road compromise 19-inch front wheel, 17-inch rear wheel are not a disadvantage here, even compared to the more radical enduro bikes. Instead, the length of the wheelbase, 1567 millimeters, and the weight have a stabilizing effect. If you tighten the damping of the semi-active suspension elements with an extremely wide adjustment range in the intuitive menu, the suspension also withstands rough passages very well, fast running holes to push the 200 mm travel to its limits. But if you're not fighting for stage wins but want to enjoy off-road riding in a more relaxed manner, you won't miss anything in this respect. Not even electronically, as the ABS stays away from the rear wheel in off-road mode and is very defensive on the front wheel. The traction control can be switched off completely. Both challenging ascents and descents, whether over roots, sand, or loose gravel, can therefore be mastered without any disruptive control interventions by the driving assistance. If the driving aids are deactivated, they remain so even if the ignition is switched off and on again in the meantime. 
The more momentum you can carry from the flat sections into the climbs, the better. Especially at walking speed, the 19-inch wheel is more likely to be thrown off balance by large bumps than one with a 21-inch diameter. However, if you keep the multi in traction at all times, it also has plenty of traction due to its weight and the TKC80 tires with good grip. The smooth V4 engine with twin pulse ignition offset is electronically limited to 115 horsepower peak power in rally riding mode. But what is more important anyway is what happens in the low and medium rev range. The high performance engine responds very smoothly to the throttle, makes the power available down to the individual horsepower, and sends it off well just above idle speed. The clutch, which is not entirely smooth, can also be easily controlled when the engine is warm, which is very beneficial when controlling the rear wheel. Control of the front wheel is ensured by the extremely well-tuned brakes. The Brembo Stylema calipers on 330 mm discs decelerate brute force on asphalt, but show their gentle side when actuated with one finger off-road. There is sufficient lever travel available to modulate the braking force, so the brakes themselves are just as good a compromise between road and off-road as the Multistrada V4 rally itself. We were on the road on our touring tour with standard tires from Continental. The choice fell on the TKC80. For tough off-road use, we wanted a proven product with good grip. The TKC80 has been available on the market with minor revisions for a total of 36 years, and not without reason, as we also discovered over the course of the six off-road days. The tire, which Continental itself describes as a 50-50 dual sport tire, proved to be extremely robust, low wear, and reliable. Mounted on eight different vehicles, there was only one puncture in total. The last one was only because we had overlooked a boulder on a fast section. We can therefore, with a clear conscience, take up the cudgels for the Conti and recommend the TKC-80 for this type of adventure. Comparatively quiet on asphalt and good-natured at the limit, super versatile off-road, a real evergreen among the course tires. The Bosnia Rally describes itself as roadbook training, but there is also the option of simply following the track using a navigation device. For our filming, we sometimes had to ride sections of the route several times, and as roadbooks tend to get on badly with arbitrary changes of direction and backtracking, we opted for the new Garmin Zumo XT2 bike navigation system instead. Thanks to the sturdy mount, Robust technology and large, high-resolution display, the Zumo X-T2 survived the 1,000 material murdering kilometers unscathed and reliably guided us to our destination. Our equipment for the Bosnia Rally included camera equipment, tools, tire repair kit, spare levers, and a few snacks. To avoid straining our backs during the demanding stages, we kept most of it attached to the bike. Despite the off-road use, it was crucial to keep the weight as low as possible. We therefore relied on practical soft luggage solutions from Enduristan, including side bags, luggage rolls, handlebar bags, and tank bags. These offered sufficient storage space and withstood the stresses and strains of the rally. We had enough space for three liter hydration bladders and slim backpacks from Enduristan on our backs. The versatile mounting options, practical features, and robust workmanship made our Enduristan equipment the perfect choice for the demanding Bosnia rally. Inclusion on the Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally 2023. The fact that the Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally generally prefers the road to tough off road terrain was already clear from the start when we looked at the data sheet. It was also clear that it does not shy away from adventure, but all test riders were surprised and impressed by how confidently it mastered even demanding passages. Despite its 19 inch wheels and mass, it can do more than just gravel roads. Above all, the good electronics and the finely controllable engine make it manageable off-road. The natural limits of the off-road Hummer only become noticeable at high speeds due to the suspension elements, bottoming out, or in very rough trial passages due to the dwindling stability of the front wheel. Anyone who cannot forgive an adventure bike of this size for this is looking in the wrong segment. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Stay connected and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.